Well, swords suck in season 13. Right now, swords are some of the best weapons, but next week, swords are getting a 15% damage reduction. How will this affect our favorite swords going forward? Stay tuned to find out. Hey, I see that only 3% of you guys are subscribed. Why don't you slap that subscribe button if this video helps you out? You can also leave a like on the video to let YouTube know that you want to see more of my content. To determine if swords are going to be good in the future, let's look at exactly what they do now. I will be testing everything in this video at Kali, without any global buffs, and with max power level. This should allow us to directly compare the damage of all of these weapons. Now, there are two swords that stand above the rest, those being Falling Guillotine and Lament. Lament is hard to test, so the main focus of this video will be for the Falling Guillotine sword. I have the God Ruled Falling Guillotine with Swordmaster's Guard, Relentless Strikes, and Whirlwind Blade, so I'll be taking that into account too. Whirlwind Blade increases the damage after getting a hit. On the first hit, without a buff, we get a base number of 8. 1186 and these are the numbers for each stack each hit increases it by six percent up to 30 percent after five hits if we take the base number and reduce it by 15 percent we get a little under 7,000. as we ramp up whirlwind blade we get these numbers yes these are some pretty significant differences at five stacks after the nerf we will be dealing less damage than two stacks currently how badly will this change impact champions and bosses for champions, this probably won't affect them too much, mostly because champions are melted by anything, except for Master and Grandmaster Nightfalls, and in those you aren't using swords anyway, you typically want to be using medium to long range weapons to take care of those. I also don't think this will affect bosses too much. After a full damage phase of Kali, I was able to hit about half a million with Falling Guillotine. Take 15% of that, and you'll be left with 425,000, which is still very high. Using Xenophage with max reload speed from Luna Faction Boots, I wasn't able to keep up that damage. I even tested it with Whisper of the Worm and it did out damage the sword, but you have to keep in mind that Kali has an increased crit multiplier that swords can't get. Not to mention that swords are very ammo efficient, whereas Whisper and Xeno took almost all my ammo. This means swords are going to out damage most other heavy weapons over a longer period of time. Rockets are also getting a massive buff next season, so we'll just have to wait and see how swords compare to those. To all of you who skipped to the end, here's a quick summary. Swords will still be a great option for your heavy slot, but not as prevalent as they currently are. Unless we get new swords, Falling Guillotine will continue to be the best legendary sword, and Lament will continue to be the best exotic sword. These will still have their place in the meta, but with their rocket buffs, we may find ourselves swapping off our swords for a lot of activities. If you enjoyed this video, please help me out by subscribing to the channel, liking the video, and leaving a comment down below, letting me know your favorite sword. I also have channel memberships. For only $1, you get your name right here, and a few emotes in my comments, and YouTube live streams. Thank you all for watching, I'm Marshix, and I'll see you next time.